What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today's tip came from a question that was asked in one of the live calls inside of the SketchUp Essentials community. The SketchUp Essentials community is my community where you can actually go to learn SketchUp with training, um, a community forum, as well as live call-ins where you can actually ask your SketchUp questions. Um, if you want to check that out, come ask some questions of your own. You can do that for free for 30 days at the SketchUp essentials.com slash free. So if you want to check that out, you can follow that link. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in today's video, we're going to talk about insertion points. And so these are the points at which your objects are inserted when you bring them in from like the 3D warehouse. So for example, let's say that we had a 3D warehouse model, and I'm just going to pull one in out of my library, but I'm just going to drag the model in. And so notice how when I place this model, it's placed nicely on the ground right? So the bottom of the wheels is directly on the ground and uh, I don't have to go through and figure out like moving it up and down and other things like that to make it on the ground. However, some other models that you get from the 3D warehouse, like this table for example, they get dropped in differently, right? And so I wanted to talk about why that is and how we can fix it. And so what we're going to do is let's start by taking a look at this model right here. This is a Herman Miller chair that I downloaded off of the 3D warehouse. But if we double click inside of it, what you're going to notice is you're going to notice this model gets placed. The insertion point is placed based on the object origin meaning the point inside of the object where the axes are located. So that axis is going to be used for a lot of different things, actually, depending on what you're doing. So, for example, if you use uh, what is it? If you use path copy, then it's going to use this point as the point along which things get placed um, when you create copies along a path. But this axis location is going to be really important. And so if we were to look at this table, right, if we were to double click in here, you're going to notice that the reason this got placed down below the ground is because the insertion point um, or the axis intersection point is at the wrong location, right? So that is located at the bottom of the table. So if we were to move this up, take a closer look at it, you're going to notice that that's right here. And so let's say we wanted to fix that. Let's say we wanted to save this to our model library um, and have it set up where it would actually drop in on the ground in the future. Well, the way we would do that is we would adjust the component axes. So the way that we would do that is we would double click inside of this object and we want to use the axis tool or the axes tool in your large tool set. And so all we're going to do inside of this object is we're just going to place the axes somewhere else. So in this situation, I'm just going to place them somewhere on this bottom piece. So you could search for the center or something like that if you wanted to do that. In fact, I ought to be able to find that pretty easy just using this axis point. I'm just going to turn on x-ray mode. I'm just going to draw a line straight down just like this. So now I've drawn a line. I'll turn off x-ray mode and from within this object, so I'm going to make sure I'm inside of it, I'm going to click on the axes and then I'm going to click on this point. And I'm just going to move my mouse. I'm going to click again. I'm going to click again. So now what that's going to do and I'm gonna go ahead and click out of this because it's gonna ask me if I wanna update the component axes to match your modified sketch axes. And the answer is yes, I wanna do that. So now, if I was to double click on this object, notice how the origin or the object uh, component axes are centered on the are centered on the center of the bottom here now. I'm going to go ahead and delete out this guideline. I don't need that anymore. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save a copy of this to my library. So I'm just going to right click and do a save as. We'll do round table fixed origin. And so now let's say I was to drag a new version of this. So I'm just going to drag over new version of it. And notice how what this does is this this time place this based on where that object origin is. And so you can use this to also adjust very fine detail things as well. So for example, if I was to go to the 3D warehouse and we're gonna look up a specific chair and we're gonna bring in this Katina chair from Landscape Forms. So if I click on this, then I click download in my model and I say yes, notice how when I bring this in, this is very close to being on top of my ground. 
right? Um, it's very close, but if you really kind of rotate down, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna notice that the bottom of these feet is going through the ground, right? Which might not be that big of a deal, but it does affect your realism a little bit if you're doing like rendering or something like that. So what we could do is we could take a closer look at the model axes here. And so the model axes are actually placed aligned with this piece of hidden geometry right here, right? So they're very close. Um, they're not way off, they're just off a little bit. But really, you just have this point right here hitting the ground. Um, and these might kind of flatten out in the real chair. So this may just be a question of it not being worth doing this. But let's say we wanted to get really picky on where this is inserted. Well, all we would have to do is just activate your axes right here, click, click, and then click again. So we're just placing the new axes and we're gonna say yes. So now with that object, if we double click on it, notice how the model axes are based on this point right here. And so let's say I was to bring in a new version from the in model section of our components over here. Click and then click again. Notice how now that insertion point is based on this bottom point right here. So the actual tip of that chair is placed on the ground. And you might actually want this a little bit higher, but it's more an illustration of how you could adjust this in a more fine way. And so one other thing you might see that gets a little bit funky is sometimes when you bring things in from the 3D warehouse, like this model right here, this Teak table model. If you bring this in, you click download and you say yes, this one is gonna come in upside down, right? And so the reason this is coming in upside down is because the axes have actually been placed on this in the wrong direction. So you see how this is a darker blue? Well, this darker blue is supposed to indicate up. So what we wanna do is we just wanna go in and assume you were saving this to like your model library or something like that. But let's assume we wanted our model axes to be at the bottom of this object. So what we would wanna do is we would just wanna double click in here, bring these axes in, and we just wanna make sure Notice how I can make the blue point up or down depending on what direction my mouse goes. So I just wanna make sure that that blue on the axes tool is pointing up. So then we'll just do the same thing. We'll click out of it, just like this. So then I'm gonna to go to the components section of my tray. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out. I'm gonna bring in the new version. We'll notice how now the insertion point for this object is directly on the ground facing the proper direction. So that's how you can adjust the insertion point of objects so that they come in properly um, if they're inside of your model library or anything like that. So that's from an in this video. If you're looking for more in-depth help on learning to use SketchUp, you should check out the SketchUp Essentials community. Like I said, there's a free trial where you can check out everything from the community forum to the live calls to the trainings that are contained in there. So you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash free. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.